Hi all folks, this is Max from ZeroMax.com and HTCEvoHacks.com So today I'm going to install Cyanogen's uh, slightly modified 4G ROM which has 4G plus Cyanogen So uh, turn your phone off and then do uh, volume down and uh, power button and uh, let's go into bootloader mode so once you're there you want to go to recovery using the volume keys and hit the power button and uh, before you do this you have to copy over three files I'll have it on my blog post into your SD card so that's the first step and the second step is what we're doing now so we're gonna enter the bootloader um, now you will want to uh, back up your current ROM if you want to save it. I don't need to, so go here and NAND backup. And then you can hit the power key, but I'm not going to do that. Later on, you can come to the same menu and hit restore, and then find your file and restore it to the original state. It will save pretty much everything. It will save everything, actually. And now let's uh, install the new ROM. We're going to wipe, wipe data factory, hit power. All right, and uh, uh, wipe. You don't need to wipe cache. Dial the cache. Hit power. All right, and then return power key. Uh, and then flash zip from SD card. And we're gonna choose that. Uh, we're gonna. You're probably. Uh, I made you. You need to copy these three files: the G apps, which is for Google apps, Cyanogen, Supersonic, WiMAX Alpha 2 that's uh, the ROM file and also the toast tcfh ymax.zip which is for the ymax without that ymax it won't work so hit the power button after choosing the supersonic uh, cyanogen supersonic ymax alpha 2 and hit the power button and then hit the power button again and this will install it so after it's installed I will be back so it's almost installed, that bar is almost going, so let's see, it's almost done. Once that's installed, we're going to install two more stuff. Um, wait, wait, wait. And a lot of people ask me what kind of camera I use. This is a Canyon 7D. I love it because uh, you can shoot 1080p videos at 30 frames per second or 29.97 or 24 frames like cinema. Or you can even do 720p HD at 60 frames per second and you can slow it down. Uh, anyway, I'll have a review on that. Uh, anyway, when that's done, uh, the ROM is installed, but let's go install Flash Zip again and the Toes, toes CFH, which is uh, power button again. And install the WiMAX, all right, which is the kernel. And then flash zip again, and let's go to the G apps because you need if you want Google Maps or whatever. So I'll install that. All right. And once that that's installed, we're just gonna reboot it and check it out. So hit the power button now, and it's gonna re uh, reboot, and you'll see the Cyanogen, uh, the new logo. It looks really cool. So I used to have Cyanogen on my Nexus One. Uh, that was like the first, very first ROM I installed on an Android phone. Nexus One was my very first Android phone. Um, now I have a bunch of phones, and I'm just waiting for the the really the dual core ones, like the Atrix or the Optimus. Actually, I don't want the Atrix because it's on AT and T, but I'm sure they have a dual core uh, on Sprint. I hope they come out with the HTC Evo like dual core or something. I don't know what they're call it. Not shipped call it something else and by the way shipped is okay I'm not getting it because it just has a keyboard it's just pretty much the same phone smaller screen um, I recommend it if you you know are choosing between a keyboard and no keyboard that's why they made it but I wouldn't get it just you know just because it's not it's not really new uh, I might just get it to root it but what's the point I'll wait for the, the big phone anyway you'll see this uh, cool cyanogen Mod. This is actually, I believe, two, Android 2.2, which is good though. It has a bunch of features, way more, um, and there's not really Gingerbread 2.3 that's stable right now. Everything's super buggy, so you might as well install this until you know that comes out. Uh, but it should load pretty soon. 
Anyway, I'll be back. It's going to start and I'm, I'm just going to put in my uh, Gmail account information and then uh, so well, I'll just wait till the screen to just show you. There you go. So I'll be back after I sign in. Actually, I'll have another video on the overview of this. Uh, that way I can have two videos because it's kind of getting long. So that's how you install the uh, Cyanogen mod with 4G. This is a highly recommended ROM. I, I love Cyanogen stuff. So see y'all later.